Hi, this is Andy Scott with North Shore Apartments and Condos. We're walking into 614 Sheridan, number three. So we're on the top floor and we're sort of looking into the living room and past the living room are the bedrooms and the bath, as well as the kitchen. As I swing the camera around, you see bookshelves on one side. Now this is gonna be a lot different than the last apartment we saw. This one is a work in progress. So the floors have just been re-screened, which means they take the top layer of dirt and one layer of polyurethane has been put down. But usually one or two more would go down. The fireplace is decorative. It's actually, it's concrete and it's very well ornamented. It's actually quite nice. The finish on the apartment is impeccable. The windows are original windows, but they've all been rebuilt. So you can actually open them with one or two fingers. You can see the radiator is out, but that's what he does to clean and paint. So he does a remarkable job of uh, refreshing an apartment. Again, if I just use one hand, whoops, I guess I should go from the middle, but it goes right up and right up. Oh, well. It didn't go right up and right down, but it does open easily. But again, I'm holding the uh, camera with one hand, so it's a little bit harder. That's the courtyard. You can see it's manicured. We're on Sheridan Road. And if I step behind, you can see this is a huge living room. It's about 22 feet long, I think, by 15 feet wide or 16 feet wide. It's a nice big space. Again, the hardwood floors are beautiful. Lots of outlets, very pretty decorative fireplace. The painting needs to be done. So there is some holes in the wall from the last tenant where they hung things, which you can do. All of that will be patched and repaired and the apartment will be repainted. As we walk out of the living room, and again, I'll just give you one more glance. So we go out, there's the bedroom, the first bedroom, on the right and the kitchen on the left. Now I'm going to get the kitchen out of the way because it's where we keep all the machinery while we're working on it. So you can see the floor sander, the vacuum. There's a, a band sander there. Full-size fridge though. Lots of storage above. That would be that space right there would be where the stove goes. Nice newer cabinets above the counters. The counters are laminate rather than, uh, rather than rock. Again, we have a couple of outlets. Twin stainless steel sinks. You do have a dishwasher. Let's see if I can open that for you. Just give you a little look inside. It's the same size as the one we saw in Hinman. Um, the stove is a full size stove. The cabinets are about the same size, 10 inches deep, three feet in length. There's probably a little less storage here, but not small storage because you have the original butler's pantry, which is really cool. Not why you'd rent the apartment, but still very cool. And you do have some storage above the stove. And there you see that again. The shelves are about 10 inches deep. That's the back door. You have laundry directly below you. The, uh, the back is covered, but you do go outside. Uh, can I get into the fridge? Great question. The freezer, not new, but like new. And the fridge, also like new. Very similar to the other with the butter dish and the crisper drawers. This guy does an excellent job of maintaining the property. So this is one of my favorite buildings. The advantage to this apartment is that the bedrooms are bigger and we'll go to the first bedroom. So this would easily be 12 and a half feet across by 13 feet long. We're looking out into the courtyard, which is north, but we're on the third floor. So it's quite a bit, uh, quite a bit more light. And there is the courtyard, again, beautifully manicured, even though it's well past the growing season. We have a second door that will lead us to the bath. And 
give you an idea of how big it is. And a nice light fixture, but no ceiling fan. I'll walk towards the second door because around the second door is a little closet area. With, it's about three feet across and about three feet deep. It has an outlet, uh, a couple of uh, shelves, and uh, so it's, it's good storage. Now if we go through this door, we'd be into the second bedroom. This is a little smaller. I would say this is probably 11 by 10, but this would still be at bigger than the larger of the bedrooms on Hinman, although Hinman is a very special apartment. Working on the radiators here, not much view out of this window. You're looking at another part of this same building, but you you're, get reasonable light, and I believe this is facing north here. And if I spin around, you can sort of see the bedroom areas. Now I'll walk across. And we have what we call Euro style closets here outside the bath. And if we open them up, you can see it's actually, let's see if I get some light on here. You can see it's actually a hanging closet. It's about four feet wide. You do have shelves to the left, and it's about two feet deep. And there's a couple of extra uh, spaces up on top. I'm going to call them closets, but it's really just an extension of the same closet. Okay, the last room we have is the bath. We see a smaller ceramic tile on the floor, a tank toilet, which is a little nice. Now we're still, he uses the bath, obviously, to hold some of his work products too. So when he's rebuilding the window sashes, and those I believe are uh, uh, blind holders. They hold the blinds. So it's a little hard and there's the sink. And there's a medicine cabinet here, whoops. Which is sort of your basic medicine cabinet. In the back, he has a fixture above the mirror and then one in the ceiling as well. The shower is about six feet high. The tiles are really well maintained and this is before it's been cleaned. So that's really cool. It's hard for me to really check the water pressure because you've got that stuff in there. So there's the hot water in the sink. And I'm just, I'm not going to use the shower. But here, I'm going to do that again so you can see it. Turn all the way to the hot. And you can hear that it's just really good water pressure. It's also draining really well. You've got a window that's actually a granite little top there by the window. So the bath, the apartment is in transition, but it will be a beautiful apartment. The rent is $13.75. Like I say, I love the Hinman apartment because it's like brand new, but this would have bigger bedrooms and the kitchen will be uh, quite a little larger and quite usable once it's cleaned up. Again, it does have the dishwasher. And this is a beautiful and large living room. This is just a very pretty room. This would compete with any living room. So, um, the rent again is $13.75. That includes hot water. And that brings us back to the front door. Thank you for watching.